Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, everybody. Uh, today is February 1st, 2018, the Environmental Conservation Board meeting. Um, we have an a, um, <clears throat> agenda we're going to follow, and we're, we apologize for running a little late this, after, this evening. But the first item is Kirkwood Estates, uh, 61 Kirk Lake Drive, cleared path for boat ramp. Please approach, state your name, and who are you here for? Thank you. Uh, Douglas Esposito, member of Kirkwood Estates. How are you? Good, thank you. Self? Good. How are you? Uh, so last we were here, we were adjourned for uh, some review. Some uh, review. We, we spoke to, we got the lawyers involved, everybody's involved. So. And a site visit, I believe. Right, they did a site visit. And what I'd like to do is, um, it's okay with the board, I'd like to, um, suggest that we have the applicant put some plantings around the area, a few bushes, a few things that, are, that mix into the area and grant the permit, uh, grant, accept the permit for approval. Um, do you have any questions? Yeah, can I just take a look at the, the deed? That was one of the things that yes, we had from last time. Uh, and then uh, just for the record also, I had on here that we had to discuss Mm. And the easement, so there was, was there any? I, the, the, I spoke to the uh, town attorney, and he said we could accept this as a, uh, as a permit. Okay. Yeah, so if you don't mind, the easement, it was like f at least 50 feet away from the location where, it's, where the uh, access was or is. And um, that dedication, the, the um, what do we call it, what, what you're just looking up, the, the, deed? the deed? Yeah, the deed page that I gave you last <coughs> time. That deed page was the only thing that was available from the, out of the out of the uh, town hall or the town records. Okay. And that was what was filed. So what we'll, what we'll wind up doing is we'll wind up accepting your application. You'll go on a 30-day clock. All right, so between now and Tuesday, just submit to Rose what you plan on. In the spring, obviously we can't do it now. Right. What, how many bushes you plant in the area and lo approximate location. So we're going to apply within 30 days. Correct. You'll get the, this, this gets advertised. The, the, the way this works is we vote on accepting the application. The application then gets published in the newspaper for 30 days, mm -hmm. 30 to 45 days, usually two meetings, and then you come back. We grant the permit. If there's no questions or, you know, questions from the public or anything, and then we grant the, uh, then they would grant the permit. So it has to go to, it has to go to public? It has to go to public. Understood. Can't do anything for 30, 45 days anyway, I don't think. You can't plant anything right now. <laughs> I mean, you could. You'd be planting it again. Okay. Plant a snowman. You get a rock Or to get a shovel in the ground. <clears throat> uh, the rock So we're going to submit to Rose. Right. So what I'd like you to do is you have a, you have a map here of the area, right? I believe it's this drawing. Okay. What I would do is highlight the area where in question and just bubble and say, you know, I'm going to plant, and again, this is just an example, I'm going to plant two hibiscus, one elm, you know, whatever you're going to plant. You know, give us, a, I'm going to say s s six bushes and or plants. Okay. Or trees, whatever. Six. The number is six. Mm hmm. Was this part of the original plan? The well, the original plan we were thinking of yeah. uh, speaking to the lawyer. They just—it's more trouble to disturb the area because we're so close proximity to the lake. Good. Leave it alone. 
<clears throat> shrubbery, and we'll move it from there. <laughs> Sounds like Monty Python. Yes, well, that's... <laughs> the number is six. The number is six. Not five. Okay. So then, do I have a motion to accept the application for Kirkwood, Kirkwood Estates uh, for 61 Kirk Lake Drive for uh, cleared path for boat ramp? Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, so we'll see in 50 days? Yes. 60 days? Well, now you'll see us uh, first March, first meeting in March. All right, the next item we have is meeting minutes, 12 21 17. We cannot vote on it. Vince is not here. Because Vince is not here. <coughs> we also have this that was added to the and file. Then we have Putnam Engineering had submitted to us some uh, letter supporting for the impervious walking trail remediation. Um, he submitted the watering plant for the new tree plantings. The embossed stamps on soil report, we'd asked the report to be stamped. Mm -hmm. And the landscape plans for lots three and four, which is right here, okay? And mm -hmm. the only thing he's missing is the, oh no, he got it, the stormwater. I asked for the, uh, the SWIP latest uh, inspection reports, and he did that. All right, so that's going to go back into the file when we, uh, oh, and they were done as far as 8, 8, 18, 18, January, January 18th and January 25th. So they're recent. Yeah, what do you know? Look at that. We just take another random sample for like. Oh, take care. Little, Good luck. Take it easy. <clears throat> we'll see you soon. So that takes care of that. And Soil compaction test and right stamp. Most recent reports. Watering plan to establish trees and grass. There's a watering plan. Great. Note of actual calcs for impervious surface. This is the on site soils engineering services. And this is the soils that the soils are in good shape, but I don't. That's the gravel path? Is that what you're talking about? Or this is the soil the stamp? <coughs> this is the uh, calculation for the impervious area. Great. Can I take a look at that? That was a letter? Yeah. And then we also had gravel for path needs to follow specs provided. A letter would the, suffice. The planting plan is new trees will get 25 gallons of water per week. Great. They'll be watered two to three times a week for the first few months. During periods of particularly dry, hot weather, will be necessary to water more frequently. We'll stop once the trees become dormant. All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we were going to put a condition for the bond, but that could wait till he comes back, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Point zero two acres. <clears throat> did you did you take a look at this letter? Twenty thirteen approval for the resign lot five had point six point zero eight. Right, it's shown here in the calculations right. for the, right here, 608610. Okay, looking for the, yeah, we can only increase the, per, we can only increase the impervious square footage of the lot by <coughs> 0.02 acres according to that original calculation. As a result, Pulte will only be able to pave the two steep slope portions of the walking trail on lot five, which means only portion of the lot walking trail will be paved, not the entire thing, right. which is different than what we had originally, because we didn't know the calculations here. Right. Look at the, it's uh, the steep slope section of the walking trail is looking within the wetland buffer. The reason why they would do the, the steep, steep slope is because right. of uh, erosion. Sure. <laughs> the existing portion of the trail has been washed out, will be filled in with item four. The sub base will then be compacted prior to paving. Okay. Yeah. All right. So with that, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. 
Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Good night. Have a nice weekend.